Thank you for tuning in to Ruthie World Web TV, something different on the web. And today we will be talking about, well, a few things. First, I'd like to give a shout out to my good friend, Jennifer Perry. She is the head honcho, the top dog at Lone Wolf Communications. And yeah, you can find her on Facebook. She is a publicist for several people. One of them is an author named Jim Musgrave. And then another one is also an author, and his name is Jody McFerrin. And he, he wrote a delightful cookbook that's just wonderful foods. That's, and it's like a party recipe book. He did have a uh, book signing at the Vivid Boutique in Decatur not too long ago, and it was wonderful. And along with all of the great finger foods he had, he also had a blueberry martini concoction that got us all tipsy. Anyway, he's going to be on a, 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 an afternoon show tomorrow, Wednesday, which is uh, November 27th. That's Jody McFerrin. He's going to be on the show at 1230 on Wednesday afternoon. And I will get back to you on uh, the name of the show and the exact time. So I have it. Jody McFerrin will be on 11 Alive's Atlanta and Company on Wednesday, November 27th at 12.30 p.m. So, there you have it. I'd also like to say hi to my new friend, Simeon. He will be one year old next month. I think maybe next week even. I babysat for him in Kirkwood a couple of weeks ago and he was so sweet. So wonderful. The sweetest, juiciest baby I have seen in a very long time. We had a great time. We went to the park. We walked through Kirkwood. Went down Howard Street and we really, really had a great time together. And it was my first time meeting him but hopefully I'll get to see much more of my new juicy baby. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who know that I was uh, studying to take the, the math test, like the college, well, entrance compass test, whatever it is to get into college these days, well, I didn't pass it, so i got to take it again. And I know exactly where I went wrong. I know exactly what I have the problem with. It has to do with negative integers, and it just, it's just... It boggles my mind every single time. So I got a 17 on the test, right? All I needed was 20. If I got 20 points, I would have been able to take math 98. Two years ago, I took that test and I went in there without knowing anything, couldn't remember, rusty. So you know what I did? I took the test in less than 10 minutes and I guessed and I got 24. This time, I'm thinking I know so much, and, and I'm thinking I retain the information, and I, I take three hours thinking I'm solving problems correctly, and no, it didn't work. It did not work. Can you believe that? It took me three hours to get 17 points, and the last time, it took me 10 minutes to get 24 points, and I would have passed. But they have, of course, changed the rules to the game. Now, if you cannot pass what they call remedial math, you cannot, you're not eligible for admission. That's it. That's it. It's as simple as that. So, what I will have to do is go to Khan Academy and practice. Khan Academy is great because you can see him, you know, writing out the problems, how he solves the problems, he's talking. You can pause the video at any point in which you want, if you feel like you need to, to, um, to go over some things and make sure you're absorbing the information. And Khan Academy is will be instrumental in helping me to to pass to pass this test. Uh, two years ago, the, I don't think Khan Academy was up and running to the extent that it is now. But Khan Academy has lots of math. You know, it's got trigonometry, calculus, you know, geometries, statist statistical math, and that you know, the hard stuff. They have a lot, they have lots of it. And it's not just math. So Khan Academy isn't just, just math. They have great artwork and you know, they're partnering up with different institutions like the Museum of Modern Art in New York City and other places. And they're putting all this information on the web and it's all for free. 
That's the really good thing. I'm hoping that eventually you'll be able to get a GED through Khan Academy or some type of degree program. <laughs> they should start having. Right now, I have like over 68,000 what they call energy points. It would be so good for that all would convert into cash. <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about is my desire to have a thrift store. But of course, it cannot be a, a regular brick and mortar thrift store. So I'm going to make it an online store and um, I'll probably build it off, of course, on eBay. But I have lots of stuff that I just I have got to get rid of. I just I, I just can't keep carrying things around. Just, you know, I've been moving around a lot in the last five years or so. And I've lost a lot of things. And when I say lost, I mean because... Um, uh, Possessions just get lost. They just get lost in the shuffle and you know people worry a lot about their things And I'm just tired of being attached to things. How emotionally attached can you be to things? I guess you should ask yourself the question. How emotionally attached are you to your things? Because to me it seems like for a lot of people Things is how they measure success. How many things have you acquired throughout your life? I've been on the planet for a very long time, and I would shudder if I had still had some of the possessions I had 20 years ago, and I was still carting them around and worrying about them and, and putting them in storage where... Um, it's like paying for items again to have them in storage. If, you're not, if you don't need them, you really don't need to be paying to store it. Do you? Well, I can only speak for myself. So I have stuff in the store space. It's not a lot of stuff, but it's stuff that I don't need. So even for the last two years, I've been wasting money by, by having this stuff stored in the storage space and it's stuff I don't need. It's a lot of clothes. It's um, some stuff that's not mine, <laughs> that don't even belong to me. It's... Um, it's boxes, it's storage bins with books in it and, and household appliances and bags of linen and some more books and cameras and don't even get me started on the pictures. Pictures are the number one thing that really, really takes up a lot of space and it's easy to accumulate lots and lots of pictures. So. In the last couple of years, I had started sending pictures to, to, to the people that are in the pictures hope, with the hopes that they would want them because I don't want them. I don't want them, and I just cannot, I can't continue, I should say. I cannot continue to haul things around, you know, and worry and, and be worried about them. It just doesn't make sense. You know, I took care of an old woman once. Not too long ago, it was last year. I was taking care of her last year this time. She was disabled because she was paralyzed from like the chest down. And she had a house, a nice house that she had nicely decorated. And she had china that was trimmed in gold and mugs that was trimmed in gold. And, and I could tell when I would talk to her how proud she was of her things. Just things, and she loved, I could tell she loved to worry about her things. You know, she treated her things like they were living beings because she had so much care and concern for her things. And, and I, you know, I used to talk to her and I was like, you know, I just cannot be this concerned with things. My my goal in life is to get rid of things. And and one of the reasons why I, I want to get rid of my things now because when I die, I don't want nobody else discarding my things and, and getting rid of stuff or or even leaving it there for somebody else to take it and cart it around for what the next 50 years that makes no sense it's just stuff <laughs> so my goal is to start up an online store and i'm going to call it ruthie's uh ruthie world dollar thrift store and i want to start it on ebay and i want to open and bid for for i guess most things to be a dollar because Whatever happens, happens. And it's really hard for me to determine the value of things. I don't know if you all know this, but there are, there are, how should I say, shows on YouTube where people go to thrift stores. Like, people love to talk about Salvation Army, of course, Goodwill. And in any city in America, I'm sure there are tons of thrift stores, places where you can just go and get stuff 
cheap for little to nothing. You know, there are lots of places of like food pantries and things, you know, they give away food, which is something we need. And they also make uh, clothing, you know, things that you need every day to survive. You know, household utensils, clothing, whatever, what have you. But they have it where you can get it really, really cheap. Or like I said, for little to nothing. So, um, people, <laughs> people like to get on YouTube with their channels about thrifting and, and, and hauls. They call it hauls, fashion hauls. And they sit there and they talk about things that they've gotten and that they feel was a, you know, it was a sale of the century. They got a really good buy, a really good, you know, it was a good deal. So they sit there and they show you the things that they bought at a thrift store at really good prices. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Things that I have that I want, that I like, that I know I'll keep, that's for me. You'll see it when I wear it. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not going to waste time showing, oh, look what I got for a dollar. No, I'm not doing that. My goal is to get rid of things and, and people who have clothes that they aren't wearing, who people who collect clothes that they don't need, you are a hoarder. It's as simple as that. You are a hoarder. And I don't want to be a hoarder. I had that experience with someone who was a hoarder and they did not want to even admit that they were. And see, that's the first thing that has to be dealt with. You have to admit that you're a hoarder. So, my goal is to Get rid of things. I should call it Ruthie World Thrift Store. Getting rid of things. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough talking for one day. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning into this edition of Ruthie World Web TV. Something different on the web. I'll see you next time. Now, I just never know what I might be talking about because I try not to put too much time and effort into, into writing a show and putting it together because this video thing, it's pretty tedious, I must say. So, see you next time.